Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to find a mirror formula that is the relation between u and v and f for a spherical mirror where u is the object distance, v is the image distance, f is the focal length that is the distance between the pole and the principal focus and all these distances are measured from the pole itself. Let us consider a concave mirror to get to the understanding, to get to the derivation. Let us consider a concave mirror. Assume this is a concave mirror whose outer side is coated with a silver or else color and inner side is exposed to that of the light. Let us consider this point as the pole of the mirror. This line passing through the pole is called principal axis. Let me call this point as the pole of the mirror. I will show it like uh, P. Let this point is called principal focus where the light rays are going to come and converge or diverge from that point. Let this point is center of curvature. So, the distance between the pole to the center of curvature is nothing but the radius of curvature. Now, let us keep an object somewhere. Let's see, let us assume here is our object is. Let me name the object as something like OJ. Now, let us first identify what is given in the data, what we are considering. The distance between P to F, the distance between the pole and the principal focus is called radius of curvature. The distance between P to C, sorry, distance between the P to F is called focal length. Distance between P to C is called radius of curvature. That is equal to the double the focal length. The distance between P and O, all are measured from the pole, is object distance. Let us represent that with the letter U. Now we have to draw the image to find the relation between U, V and F. There has to be image first. That is done basing on the image tracing principle, the rules of the image tracing. The first rule of the image tracing is if the incident light ray on the mirror from the object is parallel to principal axis like this. The reflected light ray is going to pass through principal focus. So this is what our reflected light ray. There is one more uh, rule. What is that rule is? If the light ray passes to the center of curvature from the object, and comes and strikes the mirror. Let us just extend the mirror so that it can come and strike it. The light ray passing to the center of curvature will retrace its path. So you might have noticed these two reflected light rays are meeting at a particular point and there the image is formed. This is what the location of our image is. Let me call the image as IG. So the distance between pole and the image, let us assume you are, you are calling it like V. Now you need to find out the relation between U, V and F. Then let us understand some basic things. If let me call this point as Q. If I draw a perpendicular line downward, being a thin lens, this is also going to be very close to that of P. We can write, the if the object size is H, this size is also equal to H. So I can write, OJ equal to PQ equal to H. Let me understand or consider like, the image size is something like h dash. Now, 
let's come to the diagram to understand the things further in the diagram there is a right angle triangle say fpq and there is another right angle triangle fig let me draw where they are here they are for your observation one right angle triangle and one more right angle triangle these two right angle triangles are sharing a common angle therefore they must be similar triangles therefore the ratios of the sides has to be the same what's the ratios of the sides pq by ig opposite sides equal to adjacent sides pf by fi pq is nothing but equal to h ig is nothing but equal to h dash as for the observation pf is the distance between the pole and the principal focus that's nothing but equal to the focal length itself now i need to know fi i would like to say fi is nothing but equal to pi minus pf notice it fi equal to the total pi minus pf so that is f pi pi is the distance between the pole and the image is represented at with v pf is nothing but equal to the principal focus therefore that's nothing but equal to the focal length itself that's nothing but equal to the f itself let me call this as equation number one let us go a little further you can see one more set of the similar triangles here this is one triangle the triangle say i c g and one more triangle this one triangle c o j they are also similar triangles because they are also sharing the same angle as these two triangles are similar again i can say the ratios of the sides are equal so what i can write j o by i g is equal to c o by c i now j o is nothing but equal to h ig is nothing but equal to h dash equal to co i can write co as look at this this co as po minus pc look at this where is po from p to this point is po this is nothing but equal to pc so if i PO minus PC. If I make, I will get something automatically CO. By, I need to write CI. I can write CI further as PC minus PI. So H by H dash equal to PO is nothing but the distance between the pole and the object represented with U. pc is the distance between the pole and the center of curvature that's radius of curvature we have proved that is equal to double the focal length again pc 2f pa is the distance between the pole and the image that's nothing but equal to v let me call it as equation number 2 now 
from equation number 1 and 2, you can notice that LHS are same. That implies that RHS are same. F by V minus F is equal to U minus 2F by 2F minus V. Cross multiplying that further. 2F square minus Fv equal to multiplying first with u uv minus 2fv and then multiplying with f minus fu minus of minus plus 2f square now i can cancel this 2f square and 2f square simplifying it further minus fv e minus 2fv and the other side will be a plus 2fv so 2fv minus fv equal to uv minus fu that implies fv equal to uv minus fu we got an answer but it's not in a proper format so to get into the proper format let us divide the entire above equation with uv and f each term that implies what happens fv by uvf equal to uv by uvf minus fu by uvf simplifying that further fv fv can be cancelled u is still remaining uvs can be cancelled fus can be cancelled so what is remaining 1 by u equal to 1 by f minus 1 by v so simplifying that further 1 by v plus this formula is called mirror formula thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you